Okay, so when I'm doing my sculpting, I, I, write, I like to have my placeholders first in place before we even continue with, with um, the rest of the model. So what are we doing in this class? It's adding some horns for, for our model, Just basic horns. We are and some over here and some this side, some on this side, and some smaller ones over like like that. I know it looks a bit ugly, but then it's just for you guys to see. So let's do that. Let's delete this guy. And so for this, you would want to get a, a simplified geometry that will compensate for this. What I'll do, I'm gonna grab uh, a cylinder. Shift A and grab a cylinder. Okay, let me undo that. Uh, Shift A, mesh, cylinder, and I just decrease the subdivisions. Mm, where is that? If I say divide by two, and I believe this one, this, this is fine. So snap to the right view. G to move it and then scale it as almost like fits over here. You can zoom in if you wanna. Okay, shift and I'm just gonna move this guy like that. And what I'll do, I'll add a mirror modifier again. So we just say this as horns and a mirror modifier. And choose that mirror geometry that we have, that empty mirror, and it mirrors on that side. Sweet. Now, what we need, we just need uh, to model this. Probably just rotate a tad, just make it. Like it, it fits. Look at this and press G. Just push it inside, like so. And we'll press Tab to get into edit mode, and press three to 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 affect faces. Snap that. Press G. I'm gonna move it inwards. And press A to select everything. And I'm just gonna rotate this guy. Like a bit like so like that a bit now it's time to extrude select the faces press e to extrude g to move r to rotate again i'm going to rotate a bit press g to move this guy and i'm going to press e again r to rotate press g to move just push them outwards and E again, R to rotate, press G to move, E, R to rotate, press G to move, press S to scale it a bit, so that, that it, it just kind of decreases in size, press E, R, S to scale, G to move it upwards, E, S to scale, and then R, and G to move it upwards a bit. Probably just get this down like that, and we have our horns like that. Kind of simple, right? It's uh, kind of basic how you would want to do this. And if you had add, uh, if you just add a subdivision surface, or just say shade smooth, you see how this would look. I'm gonna leave it a shade flat. So if you add, add modify, add smooth aside, you see if you add a subdivision surface, these are how your horns would look like. Like so. I'll probably delete this one now. Kind of not need it. And press Shift H to isolate and uh, go to edit mode. Select this face. I'm just gonna move it downwards. Press G, move it downwards a bit. Like that, and probably an edge edge loop over here. Control R, 
smooth it down it like this just that it, there's no curvature when you add this, the subdivision surface go back to object mode alt edge sorry about that sorry about that alt edge to show everything again sweet now we have our first horn we could probably do a couple of this and try to iterate this but it kind of it's gonna give, give us some work let me just change this edge loop over here press tab go to press 2 press ctrl alt and click and i'm just gonna rotate this guy a bit and just press g to move him like so press s to save and i'm gonna go to object mode shift uh sorry about that shift a cylinder again right 16 is to scale g i'm gonna move it this side rename this double tap let's say big horns let's see mid horns medium horns and we, we're gonna have the, the smaller ones also snap the side there's g to move is to scale it slightly and rotate it that it kind of fits on the side push it inside like so and rotate it slightly like so I think that's too much like that probably scale it down a bit push it inside so press tab edit, edit mode just gonna add an edge loop over here. Sweet, go back to object mode. I'm gonna add a mirror modifier, same process, and then choose our mirror object. Like so. Control S to save. Now I press tab, press 3 for faces, select the faces. Press E to extrude. I'm going to rotate it slightly. G, I'm going to move it not too much, Adrian. Press E again. I'm going to scale it. Press e, and then scale, rotate, and then scale. Uh, that. Probably edge an edge loop over here, escape. Add an edge loop over here, escape. Add an edge loop over here, and then escape. Press S to scale this guy not too much something wrong with my mouse so it's better to just zoom in a bit so i'm going to zoom in and i'll select this one select the loop Is G is in move it inwards. I'll select this loop. Press S to scale it down. I'll select this loop and press R. S to scale it down a tad. G to move it also. I'll select this guy. G to move. I'll rotate him a bit. I'm gonna scale it down and I say this loop I press G R just gonna scale him move him backwards a bit and then we go back to, to scope mode we just press G I'm gonna use the grab brush increase the bus size it's kind of quicker to move these vertices so uh, let's 
Let's move them upwards. Just, just still trying to find the shape of it. So it kind of has to just to use the grab brush to kind of see which shape am I going for. Probably just push this out towards a bit. Like so. And then that's that. Go back to object mode. Select this guy, Shift D. Do a duplicate. And press S to scale. And I'm just going to push him inside this hole over here. R to rotate. Just push G to push them inside. Still trying to find how to rotate again, like that, and go to Scott mode, and then we'll probably just change the shape of this now. I'm going for almost straight look for this one. Probably just press Shift to smooth, and then I almost have a straight. Like that. Okay, press G. Oh, on second dot, I'm going to move this. Press G to grab and move it downwards. Press H to scale it up and just move it on this hole over here. The bottom one. Also rotate a bit. Move it inside, make it a bit smaller. Select like this guy, Shift D, R to rotate, S to scale. I'm gonna rotate him uh, this side again, and also on this side, because G to move him outwards, E to move him inside. Now I need this rotation over here. Not too much actually. Let's just get it down. R2 rotate that. And then go to sculpt mode. Or edit mode I mean. Just gonna select this face. Press 3, so select face and I'm gonna do an extrusion. I'm just gonna move it inside. That and I'll go back to Scott mode. Go to Scott mode, and I have my grab brush, and I'm just going to control that shape with the grab brush. I just kind of reiterate everything and give it that shape I want to. I could get away with inflate, so I'm just oh, that's deflating. Hold on, control. Inflating at where it enters. So it kind of gets that. Go back to object mode. Select this guy. Shift D. I'm going to rename it to Small Horns. So let's say delete this. Small Horns. Press enter. This guy, yeah. just gonna rotate G to move just get it way down. So these horns will be those ones like they're like coming in from out of, like out of the mouth. I'm going to go to scope mode, press the grab brush, uh, grab this guy out, upwards, so, and purpose inflate a bit, to inflate them, I 
there's the G brush G to basically grab just change the shape and then vice versa same thing go back to object mode do a duplicate of this and just rotate it just give it that uh, Rotate the side. Give it that zigzag. Press G. Go to sculpt mode. Having my grab brush, I can change that shape like that. Kind of works. Very fine. I can just reiterate, press H to scale, oh, go back to object mode, press H to scale, down. Select this one again, probably move this inwards, and select this one, the last one, shift D, just push it over here, press H to scale it down, like that, probably just... Do a quick rotate, just get it down like that. So that's our horns for our creatures. And then for the for the nails over here, we, we could just use the same the same mesh. Like say this one for instance, and I'm just gonna shift D, press Escape, drag. We might rename it and say nails. And then we can move it downwards, press G. Snap to the side, rotate it. Oh my word. Rotate it this side. to scale it down G I'm gonna start from the bottom probably scale this on its head or to rotate these probably like they're sitting on the floor and G to just move it a bit and then just do the same for for, for the wrist, so same process, shift D, so you're going to move these, you just push it up again, looks like it's sitting on the floor again, probably rotate a bit, shift D to do a copy, this one I would want to rotate this side, but and then moving it inside. Yep. And then shift D. Probably scale this one down a tad. And pushing it also inside. Press G to push it inwards. I will just rotate this guy now. G and push him inside. So we have our nails. I'll probably just join these guys. Control J and rename it front nails and shift D snap and you just do a copy of this. Come on, and let's try to realign them. It's gonna take forever, but yeah. Probably need to scale them down a bit. Push them downwards. 
And yeah. Uh, let's see. Prone to rotate. A tad and press G. I'm going to rotate this side of it. Like that, and we we'll just go to edit mode. And just select this, press L to select the, the full selection. Press G and just move one by one. Select this face, press L to, to select every, every group. I'm just going to move it one by one. Press L again, same process. Oh, right now. Press O, press G. Mm, that's our nails. Exit edit mode. And that's our nails for our model. So front nails and double tap to rename this guy. Just gonna call it back. Nails. Sweet. And press go to control S. And yeah, that's that. Again, thank you guys for your time, and I'll see you guys in the next one.